Hi, this is Dr. Ramu, Dean Career Development Center, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today, I am going to demonstrate how to use a code laser. So, code laser is a platform. This platform is going to use by Accolade Digital to assess the student code quality. So, code laser is a somewhat different when you comparing with the other platforms like a code chef, hacker rank, and code forces. Here, this is a platform is a uh, mainly uh, made for the deployment process. That is why this, this platform is somewhat different with, when comparing with the other platforms. I am going to demonstrate this code laser in the today's session. Uh, you know that the Accolade Digital is going to offer 9 lakhs package including of the bonus. right? So, this is the right time to learn there is a code laser platform. And also after this assessment, so I'm going to send a assessment mock test also. Just try to attempt the mock test and try to understand how to execute the programs in the Codelizer platform. See, yes. So Accolade Digital mock assessment. So here it's showing that assessments uh, duration is one hour, right? So when you click on this take assessment. It is going to open like this, right? So here, this platform, here the five questions are there, and the coding problem one Java, coding problem two Java C, right? Three CPP and Python. And this is two problems are there. You just take any two prob, uh, any one problem, right? Here I added that two programs for your practice, code pro, coding problem four Python and coding problem five. Python. I will solve one problem how and I will I am going to demonstrate how to solve this problem using Codelizer. See when you click on this problem it is going to ask that save and proceed. You just open this one and see this is the program you just go through this given a string if it is a if it is a panagram or not right and here you have an option is full screen mode right if you click on this full screen mode this is the question the question is so observe carefully the question is given a string right given a string check if it is a panagram or not a panagram is a sentence contains every letter in the english alphabet lower case or upper case are considered the same so a small a and capital a both can be considered same character right and and this is the way uh, entire question the question is very simple so you have a one string you need to check that all alphabets like A to Z alphabets are available or not in the given string. That is your task. Here I am simply here there is no scope to type your code. See. So here you have an explorer is there. Please you just observe this explorer is there. You just click on this explorer then you will get that SRC and test. You just open the SRC and here you have a two files are there init pi and panagram check pi. Right, so you just open this one. Now this is the window you need to type the code. Here this 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 the Python is two point o. So that is why don't use brackets for the don't use brackets for the what it is called uh, if statement. Right here I'm going to take a one dictionary to solve this problem. Observe carefully. So here I'm going to take a dictionary and I'm going to count that whether the all alphabets are available or not. You just take the one dictionary here and in this dictionary right and I am going to access the access the all the letters in the given string str right c and I will get every letter if I will get any space I am going to skip the statement right if it is any space I am simply I am going to skip the statement so that here I am going to use a one if statement if 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 i is equal to equal to space if you get a space so you need to you need to skip the the particular process right i just use a continue here that means if you get a space then simply it skips the statement if it is a not a space if it is not a space then you need to identify whether the alphabet is related to uh, whether already the alphabet is there or not. Here, 
by checking that one here i'm going to the dictionary the dictionary is going to store from all alphabets in a small letter case in, in a smaller case so that if any upper case will come simply i'm going to convert that case into the smaller case see if for that i'm going to find that uh, ascii value of the given character if the ascii value of the given character is between 65 to 91 then you will call it as a upper case right for that i'm going to check the condition if k is greater than or equal to 65 and k is less than or equal to 91 then simply you will call it as simply you will call it as upper case letter for that case simply k equal to k plus 1 you can you can, can convert into the upper case just k equal to k plus 32 means so small a is 95 and if you add a 32 then it goes to 90 sorry 97 means small a is converted capital a is converted into the small a after that i'm going to mark that that letter as that letter as appeared on our string right that is why i marked as a one that's all see and if the length of the dictionary is 26 then you simply call it as it is a panagram because if the length of this dictionary is 26 means all 26 letters are available for that i simply i'm going to find the length of length of d is equal to equal to 26 and simply simply you may say that this is a panagram if it is a panagram 26 if it is a panagram so you should return the one return one and else else return zero return zero so this is your code this is your code you just before going to submit so before going to run just save your code right after saving you just run your code and it is running yeah all test cases are passed for example if you miss the colon here and after saving if you run the code then it shown an error see it is very difficult to identify the error this is not not a uh, i mean it is not like a normal id it is somewhat different so be careful right so even it will show the, the particular line the line uh, where it is was missing 18th line or oh, not 18th line invalid syntax at the 11th 11th line 11th line invalid syntax just use a colon here right got it save code and run it and see you may understood that user test cases one out of one and system test cases 10 out of 10 after that after that you just uh, go to the second problem like see save and proceed like water tapping problem so last year in 2021 august the same question asked by the accolade digital in their assessment okay try to try to uh, solve all the problems and uh, by you will get the assess, uh, mock assessments links see here also you have a rainwater rainwater dot py file is there so here you need to type your code right is this clear in description you will get all the program statement and explorer in go to src and src so rain ran water py the function name is there you just open that one and you can complete this function got it yeah this is the way you need to use the code lizer okay try to practice the code lizer and it is a it is a uh, a good chance to enter into the icola digital okay so after that you just submit your test yeah okay so icola digital is a one good company so it's going to offer the good package also okay try to practice the code lizer thank you thank you very much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates